What is going on? Bitwise guy here, and I am coming with the 12th tutorial in the Rust installment series. Um, this one is going to be based on uh, default array initialization in Rust. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not really sure what this is useful for, but nonetheless, it's in the book. Uh, we're following along with the book here, um, so we can create perfect parity, I hope, um, towards the Rust book. Um, I haven't too found too many uses for this, but I'm sure that there are definitely use cases out there. Uh, as otherwise it wouldn't have been included in the language in the first place, I hope. But the but the Rust guys are really smart and um, you know they, they always think of something for why they've done done things the way that they are, which is what I really appreciate about the Rust uh, the Rust development team. Anyway, so let's get started. So um, we'll jump into our uh, terminal here. And, um, sorry, I'm just checking out I'm on the right screen here because I have uh, two screens that I work across now. So we'll scaffold our project and we'll say cargo new um, and we'll call this one default underscore array underscore in it and we'll say dash dash bin so to make sure that it's a binary and not a library. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just pop over to our other screen here. So um, just quickly, I just want to make sure that it is. Yep, cool. All right, so um, if you guys are wondering, I'm sure you've seen it in the past, but I use OBS. Uh, anyway, so we'll open up our default array in it um, project and we'll say, we'll go into here and um, I'm not exactly sure what it's doing there. It's a bit weird. Anyway, um, probably from another project or something quite strange. Anyway, um, that was Ross format, uh, letting us know that we haven't used a variable, which we didn't even have a variable. Anyway, um, so what we'll do is I'm going to show you there are two ways to initialize a, uh, a an array in Rust. And we'll, uh, we'll talk about both ways and we'll explain the pros and cons of each one. So let's just say that we wanted to have a four, uh, sorry, a, a four uh, element array in our, in our Rust program. And we wanted to initialize the entire thing with the exact same number. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, um, what you could do is you could say my underscore array is equal to, and we'll say, um, we'll just say five. So, so five, 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 five. We've got five positions there. And we'll go down to the next line and we'll say print ln. And we will print our array like we normally do. So print my array, save it, and no issues. And we'll uh, jump over to our... Um, uh, terminal screen here, sorry. And we'll say cargo run and, ah, oh, oops, my bad. So we have to cd into our directory here. And we'll say cargo, cargo, not cargo, bro, run. And there you go. So you get an array and it's 5555. Five, five, five. So we've essentially got four elements in here 0, 1, 2, and 3. Um, sorry, 0, 1, 2, yeah, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Um, and what we'll be doing is, um, there's an easier way to initialize a array in Rust, which contains all the same elements. So let's flip over to our other screen right over here. So just flip a -roo. And the other way that we can actually initialize a Rust array, um, is, is like this. So we'll head it back up to here and we'll say, let my, unders uh, my array underscore other and that was my weird razor uh, keyboard doing something weird and we'll say let that equal to and we'll say um hmm let's let's say four positions again as well and we will simply do um we'll put four positions there so we'll say four by four and we'll save that and we'll print that out so we'll say print line my underscore other array and we'll save that and let's flip over to our other screen here and we'll say cargo run and uh as you can see we have um four elements of four so um one two three four so as you can see essentially what they've done is they've just simplified uh the the syntax a little bit and um what we can do is we can change this to be a five so it mimics our other array there. Um, so we'll cargo run this again. And as you can see, both of our arrays are five. So that's literally all that there is to uh, default array initialization. Um, in the next tutorial, we're going to be covering, um, what have we got in the book? Ah, we're going to be covering uh, some functions that are default to arrays. And uh, we will be starting to get into uh, slices um, we probably won't go into slicing syntax, 
um, but we'll definitely explain uh, some concepts behind slicing and slicing is slicing references and all those kinds of things. Um, so thanks for watching. And one more announcement I want to make quickly um, before I go and leave you guys uh, is that I am starting a new series. Um, this is the announcement for that series that I've kind of been talking about and uh, drumming up some interest about uh, Webpack plus Visual Studio plus ES6 uh, plus MVC ASP.net. So that'll be one mega super duper series um and that's been inspired by uh, a lot of professional development that i've been doing at work um i've recently introduced webpack and es6 uh into our visual studio.net environment and it's been an absolute charm and i really want to go through from that post from that perspective of um the pros the cons the the kind of uh pains that you'll face when you know if you really want to bring that that environment into a uh, into an already existing environment or if you need to propose, um, you know, to your boss, maybe like why it's a good idea to move to all these new tooling and whatever else. Uh, and uh, also, it's going to be really useful for if you're looking at getting into ASP.NET development and maybe you want to um, become a professional ASP.NET developer. Well, um, this might be a really good series for you as well, because um, over the last two years, that's pretty much all I've been doing is... Um, professional ASP.NET development. So I hope to bring some insight into that of uh, working with MVC in really small teams uh, to really big teams. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for that series where the first video will be out tomorrow, which is Sunday the 24th of April, 2016. Um, yeah, peace. Have a good night, guys.